Kansas anymore. I think we may be lost. Yeah, Dorothy. Maybe we're somewhere over the rainbow. Good day, friends. I'm the Good Witch of the North, and who might you lovely be? I am Dorothy, and what an adorable little dog. This is my dog, Toto. I like this lady already. I think we may be lost. All I can remember is whirling around like a tornado. Things flying through the air. Then, all of a sudden, we ended up here. It happened so fast. It always does. Believe it or not, this has happened before. In fact, once a house flew in and landed on my sister. Oh, my. That's terrible. Poor thing. Can you help us find our way back home? Well, I've been told that this path leads to an eternal home. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Then just follow the old brick road. It kind of reminds me of the streets of gold I've heard about in Bible class. Come on, Toto. We better get going. Thank you, good witch. Goodbye and Godspeed. We're lost, but please don't stay here. We're we'll all going to find your heavenly home. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Now, which way do we go? Pardon me, this is a very nice way. Who goes there? Maybe it was the scarecrow, but that's crazy. Scarecrows don't talk. Yeah, who ever heard of a scarecrow talking? It's pleasant down that way too. Or people go both ways. You did say something, didn't you? Why can't you make up your mind? Because I am brainless. That's impossible. Everyone has a brain. You just have to use it and make the right decision. I guess you're right. Which reminds me, I've had to find my friend's lost sheep. Mary put me in charge of watching them, and when I last counted, there was one missing. Well, have you looked for it? Hmm, I didn't think of that. Should we leave all 99 sheep behind to look for the lost one? This sounds just like a Bible story I learned in Sunday school. Let me see. What did the shepherd do? Here, it says in Luke 15 that this man had 100 sheep. He left 99 sheep to go find the one lost sheep and found it. It worked for this man, so it'll probably work for you too. Sounds like a good plan. Would you mind helping me look? Of course we will. I think I can sniff it out. Let's look over here. It's over here, caught in a bush. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. The little man has been found. You were so kind. Thank you for treating me this way. Would you like to join us on our road? to our eternal heavenly home, we want to take as many people as we can so no one gets lost. I know I don't have a brain, but I think that will be a great choice. I want to go to an eternal heavenly home. We're lost, but please don't stay here. We'll go find your heavenly home. <laughs> what is that noise? It sounds like someone crying. Look, there's a man dressed in tin. I wonder what his name is. Let's go check it out. Hello, sir. We overheard you crying and wanted to come see our if you are okay. You sound terribly upset. Yeah, and we didn't want you to rust your tin. What's your name, friend? My name is Tin Man. Didn't see that one coming. I am terribly upset. I've lost something of my utmost importance, my lucky coin. It is very special to me. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. Didn't know if I could live with no coin by my side. Don't worry, Tin Man. I think you'll survive. Sorry, Ziggy calmed me down. He keeps the hold of me. Well, don't you worry your little heart out. We will help you find your coin. I don't have a heart. Didn't see that one coming either. Wait a second. I remember a story in Luke 15 that Jesus once told about a woman who had 10 silver coins. And she lost one. But then she found it. We will do exactly what she did. It says she lit a candle. Do you have a candle? Oh, I never go near an open flame. I second that. My hands are a little dry today. But will a flashlight work? Yes, that will do. She also swept the house and searched carefully. I have a broom. Well, then we can start searching. What's that shining in the corner? Is that the coin? Oh, you found it. That's marvelous. Thank you so much. If I had a heart, I'd better be racing. Well, we better get going. Would you like to join us on, our, on the yellow brick road to our eternal heavenly home? I'd love to. We're, We're lost, lost, but please don't stay here. here. We'll, we'll come find your heavenly, heavenly home. Did y'all see that sign? We better keep a close eye out. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Boo! Ah ha ha! You can't get away from me. Roar! You're just what I ordered for dinner. And the little dog of yours will make for a great puppetizer, too. Roar! We must have courage, guys. Remember, we must be strong and courageous. Just like Joshua was told by God in the Old Testament. The Lord is with us. You're right, Dorothy. I got this. Get back to me and I'll catch. Roar!
How dare you talk to us like that, you bully? The Lord is on my side, pal. The small dogs are the ones you have to look out for. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to talk like I've heard the other lions talk. Well, that is no excuse, mister. Being rude and mean is never the right thing to do. You'll never have friends that way. Oh, and I do want to have friends. It's hard to talk and act differently than the other lions talk. I'm afraid of what they will think about me, that they will see me as being different. It does take a lot of courage to be different, but that is what God asks us to do. Just like I told Toto, God wants all of us to be strong and courageous and not to be afraid. I think that's a song. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. The Lord goes with me each and every day. He'll never forsake me. I do want to have courage, and I think I can since God is with me. I know you can, but be careful, because there is someone who doesn't want us to succeed. Now, we better be on our way. I think we are headed to our eternal heavenly home. You will not have to worry about what other lions think. We would love for you to join and tag along with us. We don't want you to stray. I want to go very badly. Let's get moving then. We will never get to the eternal heavenly home that we have been promised if we stop walking down the road. And there's no place like home. No place like home! It's good to see you again, Dorothy and Toto, and I see you have made some new friends. Yes, we did. Have you been watching us this whole time? Yes, I did. I saw how you helped two strangers find what was lost and encouraged another to be courageous. I'm glad you inspired them to walk down the yellow brick road to heaven. Where are my new friends? They are here. Knowing God's word helped you on this journey, didn't it? It most certainly did. I could not have kept going if I had not believed God was with me all the way. Look, I think I see my home in the distance. Is that it? Yes, I think that is your earthly home, but you have another home in your future, the one that is promised in the Bible, the same one that Abraham was looking for. What do you mean? Abraham was looking for a city that was not made with hands, but whose builder and maker was God. Yes, he was looking forward to a home in heaven, and so am I. Toto, it's true. There is no place like home, especially that heavenly home. Goodbye. I hope to see all of you there.